Good morning, Patagonia. Here on Tierra del Fuego. All right, so we're just arriving now at the famous sign here at the end of the road. Right over here with the Argentinian flag. So I hear an airplane up above. Right now I just arrived at the National Park, Tierra del Fuego, at Bahia La Pataya. It's in Argentina, of course, the very southern tip of the South American continent. And here we have the end of the Route 3 which starts in Buenos Aires, 3,079 kilometers away. Now, if you were going to calculate that from Alaska, it's 17,848 kilometers. So, there you go, there's the sign. And this is La Pataya, <laughs> the end of the world, officially. Officially? Officially. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, one more thing. It's exactly... 18 days after the end of the world, at the real end of the world, down here. Because they call this the end of the world. Not like the date of December 21st, which wasn't really official because nothing really happened. But if you want to see the real end of the world, you come down here, see the 54 degrees south of the equator, and you can't go any further south unless you take a boat. So that's the latest news here. We're going to climb a mountain, so... It should be pretty scenic up there, cooler, no mosquitoes, <laughs> definitely more intense for the hiking experience, a lot of good exercise for today. So the horse doesn't trust you? No. <laughs> I'm too strange for him. Yeah. He's only uh, used to his owner, I guess. Yep. There's this place called Alacush Centro de Visitantes. Basically, there's a cafeteria, restaurant, gift shop, visitor center, and Alacush is basically Alaska Ushuaia. We are young and in a good physical condition, so we can do that. <laughs> because the sign says... The sign says don't cross after 12 p.m. And now it's 1.30, so we're young and that, that's why we can do that. <laughs> okay, good. So, four hours up, four hours down. At Should least 9.30, at least. 9.30, and it's light until 10.30. Let's take a break. Okay. Sounds... How do you say let's take a break? Let's have a break. Either one. Bye. Oh no. <laughs> oh. So now the road gets really bad. Really muddy. It's dry? Okay. Okay, how was the walk so far? Muddy. Really muddy? Look at my feet. Zoom on my feet. Oh man. No but bueno. Huh? No bueno. No bueno, pero... Se la vi. <laughs> <laughs> so we finally made it to the snow though. Yeah, but we can go uh, outside of the snow, I think. Okay. And now I have to eat. <laughs> Yeah. But I don't know if it's true. Hey, how come the stones are so flat around here? It looks like almost slate. 
I think that when the glacier was here, that there was so much pressure on it, that the layers of different type of uh, material of the earth just became very, very flat. And when time would break off or something happened, and then it just became this flat. So hmm. this was maybe one layer, maybe for very, very large, and then so much pressure. Okay. And then it made it like flat. I don't know. Huh, that's Maybe. Good. That's a good theory. <laughs> All right, we're almost to the top. Going across this mountain way, they made a nice little path. So if we tried to go straight up, it'd be very difficult because all those rocks would be slippy. <laughs> oh, it was so fast. Difficult? Ah, no. <laughs> it's easy. Ah. Well, we're nearly to the top, but we decided to take a detour to see what's on the other side. What do you think? <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so nice. I can't believe it. Oh, oh man. Nice little valley there. Here you can see how the mountain formed itself. Yes! <laughs> oh, so amazing. Alright, how much longer do we have? Maybe five minutes? Five minutes. Alright, you're pretty motivated. Huh? You're pretty motivated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to reach the top now. Oh. Look at this! Man! We finally made it to the top of the world at the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. So that's it. it. Took us four hours and eleven minutes. Oh, we were quite slow. <laughs> yeah, we uh, took a long break. We took a couple, several breaks. Four hours later, we made it to the top of the mountain. Here, it's called Guanaco. It's within the national park of. Tierra del Fuego. Behind me is Ushuaia, a town with a population of about 4,000 people. The tip of South America in Patagonia on an island. It doesn't really have the island atmosphere here because it's uh, more of an adventurous tourist atmosphere. But equally as nice, a lot of people from Argentina come down here to work because you can make $10 an hour, so similar to Alaska. We enjoyed the hike up here. It started to rain, so we took a little break. Now it looks like the rain stopped. All right, so continue dancing around the world, and I'll see where the next place I'm gonna be at. Now fog is engulfing us because this big cloud is passing through the mountain, and pretty soon we won't be able to see anything. Yay! Quite scary. Oh, no more shwaya. We came right in time before the clouds came and the rain. So the rainstorm came, now the clouds, and so I'd say probably 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. And we can't see anything else now. Okay, what are you having for snack time? My favorite cookies. Toddy! <laughs> it's called Toddy? Yep. And they're so delicious. <laughs> I'm not making commercial now. <laughs> oh, where did you discover them? In Cordoba. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So how did it happen? Someone said, try this, and you're like, yeah. really? And I was like, oh my god, you're so delicious. <laughs> you have this in Germany? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. I have to... You're going to bring some back, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Illegally. Illegally. Mm -hmm. So of course the rain started to come, so we're on our way down. Hopefully we'll get back, either camp here or try to get out of the park back to Ushuaia. In the woods. You thought we were lost? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you, 
You think we uh, bypassed the worst part of the whole uh, trail though, where it's muddy? Yeah. We did? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good oh, job. <laughs> Your girl? I just had a kick of, ad how do you call it, adrenaline? Oh. I guess your Girl Scout days came in. <laughs> oh god, thank god, hallelujah. Okay. They can do everything on their own. So I think one of the worst things is to get old and you can just only lay, lay around and Okay, let's try it. Oh, oh no, the first one was better. Oh, let's try this one. Okay. No. No, no, stop filming. <laughs>